What's up everybody? Brendan here aka Mr. Weaver Face. Thanks for watching and as always thanks for subscribing to the channel. And yes, I do have a little cold right now. I'm fighting through it. I'm almost at the tail end, I think. I'm just a little congested and uh, my voice sounds all freaky. So other than that though, I'm not going to let that deter me from doing a pickup video. And in this video, I'm going to go over two pickups that I got. The first one was through the OfferUp app. And the second one was through the Facebook Marketplace. So let's go check them out. The first pickup through OfferUp was a PlayStation Portable lot. And it was advertised for 55 bucks, And that was a great deal at that price. But I just threw a number of 40 bucks, see what the guy would say. And he actually took the 40 bucks for all of this stuff. Um, first thing is a silver PlayStation Portable. Now the screen was all messed up. And I did do a video on how to replace the LCD screen. And if you have a screwed up screen, you can get a screen and replace it for less than 15 bucks. The actual LCD monitor in there. Um, and it's not that hard to do. Uh, so if you're ever interested in doing something like that or you need to do that, it does not cost much at all. Um, so yeah, I can probably resell this because I already have a PlayStation Portable. Um, so I can probably sell that for 50 bucks easy. Came with the charging cable as well. Uh, there's a bunch of games, I think around 17 games here. The loose UMDs that I am not keeping. Either there are titles I don't want or titles I already have complete in box. Loco Roco. Loco Roco 2. You really can't tell other than that there's a smiley face on there. Sid Meier's Pirates. Puzzle Challenge Crosswords. I don't need a crossword PlayStation Portable game. Uh, Patapon. Crazy Taxi Fairware. And Buzz Master Quiz. Nothing too stellar. Uh, but here are the loose UMDs I am keeping. Igdra Union or... I don't know how to pronounce that. It's an Atlas game. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Luxor the Wrath of Set. Ooh. Uh, that, one, that one had a mind of its own. It was flying away from me. That's like a puzzle, like puzzle, uh, uh, puzzle bobble, bubble bobble, puzzle bobble. Why am I saying puzzle bobble? Bubble bobble game. Uh, me and my Katamari. That looks interesting. I was excited to get this one. Castlevania The Dracula X Chronicles. It has Rondo of Blood on there. And in a previous pickup video, I actually got this uh, complete in box sealed brand new. And I didn't really want to open it. So to be able to get a loose UMD to be able to play it is freaking awesome. So that was a good pickup. Um, there's some quality uh, complete games here also for the PlayStation Portable. And plus, you're like a little ninja going around. Monster Hunter Freedom. You, that game and the one before, you know, maybe two to three bucks. SOCOM Tactical Strike, nothing too crazy there. Fat Princess, Fistful of Cake. Uh, here's a decent one, E7. I already own that. That goes for about 15 bucks. And then this one here, uh, Patapon 3, uh, is the rarest of all of them. And that goes for a good 20, 25 bucks. It actually even has... UMD's kind of flopping around in there. That's the voucher code that's not even like scratched open. So that's pretty cool. Um, so all of those, uh, all of these I'm keeping. Except the, the E7 because I already own that one. So I spent 40 bucks and all that and pricing it on eBay it goes for at least 135 bucks easy. So that's an awesome pickup. So let's go on to the next one. So the second pickup was a pickup that I got on the Facebook Marketplace for 45 bucks. I offered 35 bucks, and then she said she wanted to take that, but then she got another another offer for 45, and she said, "Can you do 45?" Because you got back to me first, and I said, "Sure." Um, now this came with a bunch of computer games, but the computer games were all crap. There was nothing like old retro, you know, big box games. They were just like, you know, stupid freeware kind of stuff. Um, so let me just go through this. There was just one Xbox game in there, Halo 2. That's worth like a dollar. Nothing crazy. Uh, but there were two long box PlayStation 1 games in there. Battle Arena to Shinden. Um, and this is a very unique case because it has Microplay on the front and then like Blockbuster 
sticker on the back and inside it says not for resale so who knows this looks like a frankenstein battle area battle arena toshinden but uh i don't think the not for resale is worth too much so i think the game goes for maybe about 10 bucks you know nothing crazy uh and this one too is hard to price um assault rigs in a long box this one actually has more of like the uh plasticky um cover and the back uh behind the disc is actually a little bit of artwork there too so that's kind of neat um but i saw one of these sold for like five bucks and then a couple more sold for like 20 30 bucks plus so i said maybe this is worth like 15 20 bucks um if you were patient to sell it on ebay um so those were the playstation uh, long box ones uh, so we got Ms. Pac-Man for the Sega Genesis. So these are all the Sega Genesis games that were in there. Um, not a lot of qu quantity, but definitely some quality games in here. Um, also, uh, not very rare, even though it says not for resale. Sonic the Hedgehog, maybe five bucks there. Um, also a game, M1 Abrams Battle Tank Simulator Series. Uh, that maybe goes for like five bucks. That one's missing the manual. Same with all those other ones I just uh, mentioned. Uh, but here's one red zone uh, going for 30 bucks or so pretty cool and it still has the hang tag on there uh, here's a game called power monger and I, th I would think it would be worth a bit more because I've never seen this but it goes for like 10 bucks and that look at that. that that booklet is like thick it's like 70 page booklet man it's crazy it mean, actually does have like the hint book too, or the original paperwork and poster in there, so that's pretty neat. Uh, Space Harrier 2. Very cool, and that's complete. That goes for about 25 bucks. And then here's one. It's an 8 meg game, holy cow. Starflight. And that one goes for about 30 bucks. And this. They don't make manuals like this anymore. I mean, look at that. That is a novel. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. How many pages? Over 140 pages in this thing. That's crazy. Man. Uh, but anyway, there's supposed to be a map in there, I guess, of the star system. So that's kind of a drag that it's not in there. But even without the map, it's a good 30 bucks. Uh, so... Not a lot in that lot, but for 45 bucks, I got over 140 bucks worth of games. And between the two lots together, I spent like 85 bucks. It's worth about 275 bucks. That is a great pickup. Um, I haven't really been finding pickups lately. It's been tough. I mean, it's January, it's Northeast, and uh, looking online constantly is like a chore, and people are asking uh, inflated prices for everything. Uh, so I've been doing a lot more like let's plays live streaming on my channel So please check those out and I'm probably gonna do another subscriber contest. I'm almost up to 250 So thanks everybody who have been subscribing uh, But I'll probably do like a 300 subscriber contest giving away some games or some prizes or something like that So make sure you subscribe to, to get uh, all the updates so guys Thank you so much for watching and if uh, you guys have played any of those games I recommend what I should play first, please comment in the comment section below and let me know and I'll be able to check out that game sooner than later. So thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'm Brendan aka Mr. Weaverface. Take care.